It just means because, like, you know. Yeah, for new people, yeah. No, 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 we should really do yeah. it. Yeah. Or just a, remember the, the model of the guy with the camera that used to float around at uh, Welcome? No, I know we've talked about that. What? It's easier. Oh, you don't remember the floating camera uh, where it looked like it was like yeah, a guy standing in front of a camera? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you Back mean. Back in the day? We yeah. Don't need to do that. Well, I'm teasing <laughs> somewhat, but. Yeah. Oh, so it's weird. Why is there a text panel? Yeah, High Fidelity used to, um, in the offices, uh, stick a camera in front of the welcome areas and just watch people on silent to see when people are around, basically. Just for the lols, I think. Mostly. Yeah. Back in the the before time. The back in the day when we were alpha time. Well, oh, now we're all alphas again. Yay! We are. I know, right? I know, right? We're all alphas now. Yeah. Let's, let's start knocking each other down verbally and to see who ends up on top, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm okay. the oldest. Establish a pecking order. Until Toys, get, yeah. until toys yeah. gets here, I'm the oldest. So, age before puberty? You're the oldest? Yeah. When did, oh, you, get in? When did you get in? Um, mm, April 1st. Of the first. Uh, well, I got in actually just before April, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so there. You know? <laughs> I can't even prove it because the the, the forums aren't. Yeah, up yeah. No, I, I actually got I got I got in before the. Oh yeah, I, th I thought no, Toys was the oldest. The yeah, Toys is the oldest. He was the first uh, person yeah. to uh -huh. build it and come in, who wasn't a high fidelity. Well, I think I'd be next to. Well, uh, yeah. I did. But the first person to contest high fidelity. Right. Oh, okay. As you were early too, David. I came in first when it was. When you had to build it yourself, there was no release. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. going to do uh, that. <laughs> I was thinking about been... high fidelity back in 1993. <laughs> okay, oh, boomer. Yeah. The youngest here, right? <laughs> yeah, I was listening well, to high fidelity back in yeah. 1993. <laughs> that was the I cassette tape of yeah. the yeah. Nick Hornby like, novel, right? Yes, and a great movie. Um, <laughs> my cat's staring at the wall. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, they do that, though. They? They do, yeah. My cat's blind. Well, then oh, you probably go stare at the wall, right? Because it doesn't yeah. know it is. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm very proud. I put together a gaming chair all by myself today. Did you? Is it comfortable? Nice. I've got to ask. How many extra screws do you have? Um, two. Oh, okay, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> That was the right question, though. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question, isn't it? When you want to put a chair together, really it's a better question help. than how many screws did you not? I have screws missing. loose, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I couldn't find the lumbar support, but it had gone under the bed, so then I ah. found it. Well, at least you weren't screwed. Oh, oh, oh. no, that you left, that you left to show me one you got. Funny, this I conversation no, just see. took a turn it. for the worse. Yeah, um, really. Yeah. But I'm no. <laughs> yeah. no. We're gonna talk about drivers instead. So, yeah. Piper wasn't uh, here, so I had to yeah. fill in. Yeah. So. Doesn't take too much. <laughs> Doesn't take too much to fill in. To fill in for Piper? Well, yeah, yeah. it does. Um, <laughs> also, I'm right and you're wrong. Yeah. We're recording. Yeah, well, remember? We're recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where is Piper? He, he knows. Oh, we love Piper. He knows we love him. Don't say we. <laughs> <laughs> so I took. A, I I made I made a vow. I, you know, I made a, the only resolution I made in 2020 was to be honest with my words, because there's very little honesty around. So as usual, these meetings usually take like till 10 after till they start. Um, I just chaired a meeting, so I don't want to chair this one. <laughs> so if somebody else wants to. It's a boy, so right. what, what are we covering today in general? That's up to whoever chairs it. <laughs> Actually, Look, we're all still here, can. meeting adjourned. Same meeting, different venue. Privately, but I mean, I guess go for it again, but 
I don't think it needs to be said, really. Mostly, I'm just trying to get my figure out how things work in here and see what I can do. And apparently, when I find a wall, I bust through it. Whoa! I'm mostly okay. here just to watch this rotating teapot. Yeah. It's kind of Yay. mesmerizing. I like it myself. For that. I, w I will say one thing. One of my plans for making stuff for Tickling, or you know, building um, like a server-based thing, is um, is <coughs> using the computer I've got right now as a server. So um, I kind of want to make that as easy as possible for anybody to to do. So um, absolutely, nice, we want you know. anybody to run a sandbox who wants to yeah, run a sandbox. Exactly. You know. Well, it's not going to happen for me. I I can't figure out what's going on. I really want to run one locally, but uh, yeah. the the network here is really really complicated. See, and I could I could run. I was running two domains, and now I'm running none. Both of them expired, and I can't get into my router to open the ports. Oh crap! Yeah. Can you know? Um, Do you own the router, or is it? I ISP? own the router. I um, reset it. So that uh, so that I could use the default password and it won't even take the default password. I don't really? Know what well, tell yeah. us what the model is and maybe we can go. Yeah, no, I'd be happy to help. I've got the manual. I've got the manual for the model. It's yeah. You know, so they may have changed the password, and the password is not exactly what you think it is. Because well, sometimes they change them on the phone. So then I have to call Verizon. No, well, you could probably it just might take a little more digging. Um, I'd be happy yeah. to help. I'm. Yeah. Network guru. There you go. There you go. There I just installed Blender so I can figure out how to put textures on things. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's actually. I, I would say it's easier on Blender now. I, 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 a lot of people say it's not, but I actually, actually, I found it easy enough to put a new texture in there. It works. It is nice. nice. Yeah, it is. It's good. Well, the new Blender is both more accurate in what you're going to see. Um, yeah. And since it actually supports actual PBR materials, um, I mean, it's it's much more intuitive to say, okay, this is a met metal texture, so here's the metal plug. I just plug it in, right? Um, the yeah. old one was not that way at all. It was just kind of an obfuscated hack using old style textures to make them work as a PBR texture. Yeah, with the exception of the way uh, ambient occlusion has to be set up, I think. Uh, in the grand scheme, I much prefer now where they've gone. Took me a while to adjust, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had an ambient occlusion map, so I don't. I, you know what? I can work with either one because it's, I think Substance Painter fix up a lot of fixes up a lot of errors okay. from Blender. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having fun with uh, procedural uh, texturing, and then in turn, you know actually creating physical deformations with that. Like I'm making rocks, but I'm using a noise generator to create a texture oh. that then causes the surface of that rock to like, you know, deform and look far more rock-like. And that's pretty cool. Nice. I'm nice. thinking I'm thinking now that I can probably put up a picture frame that uses a shader and then I don't have to blender it. I just set the URL inside the object to the uh, JPEG. There is a um, image uh, entity you can use here if you just want to link a picture. Oh, okay. I've been looking at the side by side shader and seeing if I could modify that. But the shader is can I, can I... overkill for that. I mean, you probably just want to make sure your UV unwrapped so that you and then the face for your picture to go would be a separate material, and then you can okay. apply any image you want via a material entity. Okay. Hey guys, you do so, know that material that um the picture entities will break. Just so you know. Have fun with that. Yeah, they are gonna break. They point to high fi URLs. Oh do they? So yeah, Oof. that's a good thing to talk about. I wasn't aware of that. Okay. So I'm gonna do the shader then. <laughs> well, no, you just you just literally just make your own I don't want to have to use the blender every time I want to put it as res of image. Yeah, so you just 
make it once and then you can overwrite the image URL. Okay. Basically all you need is two polygons <laughs> as a square. And you know, again have those as a you know, their own material. Um it could be part of a larger mesh or it could be a mesh on its own. And then you can apply any um you know, image to that via material entity and scale it appropriately. And this is how I remind myself that I'm such a newbie here. <laughs> no, that's okay. We, we've all been there. Oh, yeah, feel free to ask when you run into problems. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's with, you know, just using the interface. I mean, and there are cases where a shader is, is suitable for picture. Um, we've had people do stereoscopic images so that if you're yeah, that's VR, a VR... Yeah, that's uh, I have an example of that running. Yeah. Actually, so can I poke just a little bit about the uh, the built-in image, um, actually image entities breaking? So what is actually happening? Why why is there it's a little man? It's, it's a model that's hosted on their servers. That's all it is. It's just a model. The model is hosted there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just an ordinary model. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Copy it onto S three or something then. Yeah, but then you probably have to rewrite the crank tools to use the new one, which is simple, but someone has to do it. You know, if it's just a single, like, two-triangle um, two model, you could maybe ship it with the viewer, just so that we can continue to have uh, image entities. Well, the image, the image, the current image en en entity is just a cube. It's just an SVX. It's a cube. Yeah. I mean, it's, it'd be nice so, to keep that button, but eh, it's not a huge deal. Then why not? Then why not just pull the entity off their servers? <laughs> why not uh, write a GitHub issue about this and come and fix it? A what? Yeah, I think I will. Good call. Write a what? GitHub issue. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't hear him. He's all the way across the room. Heck, why? If if the model's the only thing that they're hosting, why not just stick it in the installer and have it on a local hard drive? That's what I just said. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> because well, I guess that might work, but well, two polys. You know, or... I mean, it has to be hosted in a place where everybody can pull the asset. Well, if everybody yeah. has the asset already, it's the image that everybody yeah. has to pull, right? Oh, that's true. That's true. yeah. But huh. Two polys, you know, is all you need. What are you going to say, Fluffy? I would say it would be best for it to be posted somewhere because then thing, things that don't use Athena but still can access the Athena grid mm -hmm. can still work. So on that note, like we're coming back around to we really need an Athena server at some point. Well, no, I mean, you could probably just put the FBX on GitHub and just pull out as GitHub wall, I think. Hmm? That's true. How? So, when does GitHub get angry GitHub about... That's a good idea, by the way. Yeah, I would refrain from using GitHub as a main distribution yeah, thing I for know. assets. I would say any small asset you well, do right now is probably good to put under another one. Fine then, fine. We'll do it this way. For now, we'll put it on someone's server. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're just discussing, man. It's alright. Yeah. I'm already, throw it on it. A... I've already donated the server for uh, Project Apollo. I think we can use it as a central server at the moment. It's a good configuration. It's um, hosted on Frankfurt in a big node. It has a good uh, connection and quite good uh, hardware resources. So I think we can use it as also for uh, GoTo to have the, the Node.js there and, and other, I don't know, implementations for uh, messaging um, uh, server to send messages uh, hosted on a database. We can use it for different things. Also for uh, host uh, the uh, avatars. It have uh, one uh, terabyte uh, SSD, basically two SSDs in in RAID, and um, I think it's okay for 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 start. 
And uh, also I talk with the guys from Wolf 3D and uh, they are open to uh, support us. Yep, and yep. Uh, we will need also a server for the avatars. Uh, and we can okay. use this server. Uh, that would be um, Taffy now, right? Like, uh, no, that's a different Taffy. No, no, no. I, oh, I, I was first. I was waiting, gotcha. I was waiting for George to finish. So Fine. let me go, then you can go. Okay? Okay. Fine. George, how 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 accessible is your server? Like, like, can you create accounts for us to like be able to access certain things? I have um, only a user uh, at the moment, a root user. But I don't know. We we need to think. Maybe we can use um, also um, some uh, virtual machines installed on it or. Something I don't know. We we need to well, to think about. Well, I'm thi I'm thinking more so like it's not just one person with the keys. So, darling, for example, could like put things up there herself, or I could put things up there myself instead of re having to like hunt you down or hunt Marcus down or someone to do it. I, I think we can create. Yeah, we. Uh, I can send you the, the credentials to log in uh, as a root. Also, we can uh, create some uh, web-based uh, um, access interfaces for uploading things and. Um, I've got, I've got okay, a question. Cool. I've Thank got you. a question about assets in general now. Um, I mean, what kind of? I mean, what kind of assets are you thinking about, guys? I mean. That's a very I mean, good I, question. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, I, I get, I get the avatar thing because everybody needs to download the avatars. But when we talk about <coughs> sets particularly, are we encouraging people to just do their own assets and make that downloadable, and they can just use it on their own servers, or are we are we encouraging people to do a mixture of things? I think I think a mixture of things. I think we've we've uh, it's not something we've talked about in a little while. I don't think, um, but we've talked about assets being donated basically to Project Athena, so yeah, like yeah, official, yeah. so that we have like an official asset library. Um, and of course, we want people to create their own assets and make them available. I mean, that's just I yeah. Think I, that's, I think I think that's a really good thing to do for sure. Now, if I recall. Um, As aside from that, I mean, but also with that, Fran went and uh, collected uh, locations for various free-to-use assets yes. that might be worth looking at if you're not the oh, kind right, of person okay. who likes to build your own. I would be. I would like to know, have a series. I mean, I have three websites open right now. I already bought something last night. Fran, was there a central location where those are at, or you just announced them in the con uh, uh, I content channel? I tend to just put them in the content channel. Okay, I can scroll through there and see if yeah. I can yeah. grab those links and put them all together. There's I'm two main ones that really have a lot of stuff that are free to use. I'm sure we could, um, I'm sure we could um, use some different websites to host things in different ways uh, to reduce costs and stuff like that, technically. In an open source kind of thing, it, it, it probably would make a lot of sense. Or there, we can handle it. there used to be a way for you to click on something and it would give you a copy of it. I'm sure that there's a for, script, a JavaScript that can do that. You know, so so like I would put out if I can get one of my servers up and running, yeah. I would put out stuff that you could just click and get. But but isn't that the way that Adrian had uh, stuff out on Earth? There were houses but, and things you could get. Oh yeah, yeah. But, that, that, but the problem is that it needs to be hosted somewhere. It's yeah, I would job. host it's it. I don't mind hosting yeah. it if I could get my freaking stuff running. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like lost two domain. I lost two whole domains. I would like to think no, um, because you, you're gonna because if 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 we start, I mean, if you're willing to give it as like a full copy of everything, it would be. I would think it would be probably. Well, it's easier. all CCO stuff. 
Yeah, but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I know that. I'm, I'm just saying it would be easier to let people download it and just host it themselves as well. Yeah, but like, bandwidth Arc is it's a like that open yeah, sim is, website. Yeah. You know yeah, that open yeah. sim website where you can download stuff. Yeah, I get, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Fran, do you have backups of your domain? Uh. You should do. Shouldn't you? Uh, I don't care whether I do or not because my no. plan. No, I don't. Because I already okay. recreated the salon on my local host. So I okay. was gonna. What I was gonna do was put the local host up. I wanted to make the local host my my domain and then use the computer that that's on to become a server. You know. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of computers, so that would just become. But I I, mean, I spent three hours last night with Twa trying to do it, and we couldn't get it to to work. So. So would you ever consider letting somebody host those for you in the meantime, so that I can keep using them as before? Well, if you want to host Franny and and yeah, I mean, are, are they out there in the ether? That's the stuff that I really don't understand. The domains are there, aren't they? Or not? Um, well, the content not is hosted. Um, it depends. I mean, if the content's hosted on my S3, but oh, the... okay. Well, then basically, what you need to do is even if you can't. If nobody can get to your domain server, you just need to create a content backup, and the JSON file that that generates. Yeah, I, yeah, no, I, I've done that. Server. I've done that before. I know how to do that, but um, okay. I, I, the thing is that I have no way to to port forward or open my ports without having access to the. Router. I'm sure That's we can really figure it. that out. I'm sure we can figure that out. Well, in the meantime, while you don't, if we could find somebody to host that config file or that um, content file that you created, yeah, I don't. Then know. we I mean, can have it up. Yeah, I'd have to go look on the computer where where Franny is. I, you know, I, I have okay. the backups on Franny. I think I'm pretty sure that's still there. The backups. Yeah, you know, if all else really fails, when you want to do a meeting or something, we can just load your content up in here. Because <laughs> yeah. usually everybody's either at one place or the other anyway. <laughs> yep. So it's a short-term solution. I'm happy to help that way. Yeah. But, I, you know, I re shouldn't there be a way for me to make the local host on, the, on my other machine accessible to people? Nobody can get it. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting into that router and getting it set up right. Yeah. yeah. Bound to be a way to do it. Happy to help. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I, I'm going out in a little while if it stops snowing. But, um, is that what the ice server is supposed to be, to try and punch a hole through firewalls? Yeah. Yeah. Can we leverage that somehow? Well, it depends. I mean, if Fran is hosting a single domain, and only a single domain on her IP, um, full networking should work. Um, yeah, without well, any port forwarding. It but, did. It did. I mean, oh. but, but then high fidelity. I mean, no, no, no. I'm saying it did when when Franny was running. Everybody could get into the domain. Was that because of high fidelity? Uh, it shouldn't be. It no. should be able to get it anyway. It, it all went to, to hell when I lost the, when the domain names expired. I think maybe you. Would you. Would you think that they maybe need to refresh the server with just the content to put back in? Doesn't but it wasn't on my local host. It was on, I, you know, it was, I guess, or maybe it was, yeah, it was on my, I guess that is how it works, a local host, but I had a domain name for it. Yeah, I mean, you could just give us the IP address and say that actually works. I mean, that might actually be well, I mean, there has no, we to be tried a whole punching. We, we tried all of that. You last tried all night. that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, we tried that. I mean, I just didn't work. Yeah. Hmm. I was you, able you, to get to Twa's you, domain. He okay. couldn't get to mine. Yeah. Are you on cable? Yeah, um, I have. I have really. I have a hundred up you, and down. I mean, I have you, really you, good. I have a thick pipe. That's yeah. the problem. I just can't get into the router. No, I mean, are you on like uh, cable, like the the coax? Yeah. Stuff? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Okay, right. No, I have good I have That's, good interwebs. Yeah. Yeah. It's Verizon Funny. Fios, which is yeah. fast. Yes, Fluffy. Yeah. When you reset the router, yeah. How long did you hold the button down for? Fifteen seconds and everything went down and came up again, so I'm assuming it reset. Um, I think what you need to do is unplug it, 
Mm-hmm. Hold the button and plug it back in whilst the button's being held. Yeah. Good. All right. So good after idea. this meeting, I'll do that and then I'll yeah. come back because my password is supposed to be admin is my username yeah. and then password is supposed to be my password. Yeah, that could be yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Usually when you got to like hard reset these things, you yeah. have to like yeah. hold the button down whilst you plug it in or something. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, try that. Okay, if that I'll, doesn't try, yeah, so try before Googling. I leave, yeah. Try Google. I mean, I think I think we all want to help Franny. Yeah, <laughs> no, I have the, I have the PD, I have a PDF of the manual for the uh, router. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. By all means, after actually. the meeting, let's. I mean, well, no. After wanna... the meeting, I have. I'm. I'm going out. Unless, oh. unless that's yeah, that's I'm always going out on after this meeting, but um, it's snowing outside, so I don't know if my ride's gonna come or not. That's oh. after this meeting, I will be outside shoveling snow. Yeah. Oh, you've got a lot, right? Yeah. Did you see? Um, just I to go it. OT for a second is um, New Finland. No, how much did they get? Well. Uh. It, they got about a meter and a half, I'm going to say. Oh, God. In about Finland, you say? Yeah, in New Finland. Oh, okay. New Finland. Yeah. Newfoundland. Gotcha. The Newfies got it. I've, I've seen pictures of people's doors still. Yes, yes, I saw that too. They opened the door and there was nothing <laughs> exactly. but snow there. Just a wall there. <laughs> Get the shovel. <laughs> and that some guy here, digging out his... Not very often. Yeah. yeah. That was extreme. I'm lucky we didn't get it. You know, if that kind of stuff dips south, then I'm going to get it. But I think we just got some icy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. Kind of, it, that's I'm... the kind of thing that we actually have snow emergencies for in Wisconsin. I mean, right now, like the snow we got here, everybody just goes, ugh. It's snow. just snow. Yeah. It's not like, you know, Georgia where they shut down if, you know, two snowflakes hit the road. Well, New York, yeah, yeah. To, we, we can get th- up to five inches and it's nothing. But yeah, yeah, pretty much the same here. A foot is no big deal either. Yeah, I swear a few flurries here in Portland, people freak out, which is weird because when well, we're in the north, I mean, it happens. Mm, so it's weird watching question. myself on Twitch. All right, all right, sorry. <laughs> so here's a question that's back on topic. Um, users, I mean, uh, this is the user community meeting, and I wanted to ask, I wanted to refer out and ask, um, how you feel about Athena's progress, um, how you feel about how well we're communicating with you about its progress. <laughs> well, strong feelings there. My goodness, I'm, how dare I ask. I'm ha- just happy that I'm constantly seeing activity of, you know, of announcing in the particular channel in there that something got posted to the hit hub or happened on the GitHub. So that's showing, that at least you're showing that there's activity there, and I'm happy about that. I'm okay. not really techy enough to be able to understand what the stuff that's going up in there saying this is on the GitHub, but, you know, it's it's good that it's there, and it's good that it's constantly going. So I'm happy. Yeah, you guys seem to be busting ass <laughs> moving forward there. Yeah, I'm going to go to I, I. What were you saying there? Yeah, Hector really sure needs that. to make some sort of uh, yeah. normal p- a person understandable uh, press releases once in a while. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah, this <coughs> is one of the reasons why I said um, that I felt maybe maybe I should have let myself uh, set up a website where like basic information about every everybody's things that are happening or something like that with just. Some basic news, some snippets of what you guys are doing in general and stuff like that. I would so, love that. I, I think yeah, some of the best, yeah. you know, some of the best sites I've seen for projects are, are just done by people who are either who, or who are simply interested in the project and keep other yeah. people up to date. Yeah. Yeah. And they do it all on their own, which is I don't, awesome. I don't want, I don't want like loads and loads of writing. I just, I just want somebody to be able to say, look, this is what we're doing right now, um, and put that in a snippet of information you know maybe set up a and that kind of thing you know maybe set up a social media presence of some small sort and just you know exactly. launch those out exactly yeah. yeah we my should thoughts. there should be like an exactly official thoughts, project yeah. apollo yeah. twitter and whatnot there really should be apollo now we'll goes changing the name on us i'm sorry i'm sorry athena, <laughs> athena. Yeah. all good um, yeah. uh yeah i think that's an awesome idea yeah. um 
And I haven't, I, and part of me wants to volunteer to be like, be a blogger for the project, but I know that I'm a terrible. You blogger. don't want to be a blogger. You've got too much stuff to deal with. Recording. Well, it's uh, no, it's not that. It's just I, I'm, I'm, I never. It's like I start off good and strong, and then I peter out, and then yeah. it'll be like six months before I write something else. I, I, yeah. I know this about myself as a blogger, yeah. so this is why I haven't just, volunteered just, myself. But. Just keep it simple sentences. What the certain thing we're doing, and. And send that out to people. If they want to put it on their well, and I definitely want to do. You put it on the webs on a simple website at least. When we do know. an actual, when we do actual releases, whether they're milestone releases or you know, yeah, yay official releases, um, I definitely want to do what High Fidelity was doing, which is have release notes yes. on a web page. Oh, they definitely so. need to have them for sure. Yeah, it'd be stupid not to do that. You can do that on GitHub as well, partly as well. People do look on GitHub at this point. I mean, a lot of uh, I know a lot of people who will generally go to GitHub just to get information. Um, I know it sounds weird that you know average user would do that now, but they actually do. Believe it or not, they do. They will go to GitHub just to find out about a project, um, um, as long as they know where the link is. They're they're, they're willing to check it out. Yeah, I mean, we could do yeah. like the latest release notes on GitHub. Exactly. GitHub is is great yeah. for yeah. for for basic documentation. It gets if you want to do anything complex or like if you want to have like a release notes for like everything or it's either or have like a single change log or mm-hmm, something. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, both yeah. those things get messy very quick. Exactly. Yeah, and you can't put that all as the open information every time. So, uh, Twitch is good for that as well now. Um, I would say if you'd make any major changes that is going to screw anybody things up, then Twitter is probably a good example for getting everybody in the uh, in the pool to say, look, this may break something or whatever. You know, we need to make a change. You know, guys, can you upgrade or whatever and that kind of thing. Hey, George, you alive? Yeah. Um, I think I sent you a message on Discord. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. by the way, George, me and you need to talk about our show. Because <laughs> I've spoken to him as well, so um, I, I'm quite eager to talk to you about that. Okay. Yeah. I think it would be a big benefit for everybody to use. Yeah. Also, I wanted uh, to ask if uh, the quest build uh, will be also ported to Project Athena. I think I think the intention at the moment is. I mean, as long as I mean, I, I think that I haven't looked. I think that Toys's um, continuous integration stuff will affect Android. Mm-hmm. Um, how well we're going to actually support those is an open question at this point. Um, I mean, basically, if we have devs that have, for example, if they have quests and they can you know, keep things up to date and make things in a way that's great, um, but not all devs have a quest. So, and how well? Um. We could, I mean, if they're doing projects officially, we could probably get hardware sent to them. Um, they just have to prove that they're doing a project. What? Yeah, you, you can, can buy uh, people hardware. No, no, you can you can get people sent the hardware if you just have to prove that you're doing a project. From uh, they do Oculus do. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, um, but we could do maybe. that. We could do that as a possibility. So. Um, I don't know about Valve, no, <laughs> but you know, um, Oculus are definitely doing it. Um, I tried to install the Android client and it insta crashed on my phone. Mm. I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised to be honest. Um, it hasn't had a lot of love, to be honest. It was yeah, and unfortunately, project, it's like know. we, we, uh, the, the. Android and Quest share the same build system that everything else does, but when you look at the actual CMake stuff, there's lots of sections that are cut out, like if Android, 
I mean, all over the place. I mean, Android has very much its own flow. Yeah. Um, and unless somebody is willing, somebody or a group of somebody's is willing to step up and maintain that, it's entirely possible it'll wind up broken at some point. On a random aside, I just got a. Uh, Nathan sorry. In chat asks, is there a way to emulate the limits of the Quest on a regular headset for the purpose of testing how well you're staying within its limits? Within I would say not really. Is that domain designer in world product? Um, yeah, I think the I best think thing you could do. Yeah. Answer. Okay. I would, my my take is that not really because it's an entirely different architecture. In it. I yeah. mean, yeah, you you can do basic checks like. Uh, how much memory is it using and so on, but yeah, check your frame rate and stuff, your draw calls, yeah, all that. But yeah, but again, also an entirely different uh, processor architecture, so it runs different things at different speeds uh, from your main processor, for instance. So on top of that, it's also using a different version of OpenGL. Yeah, so yeah, you probably have, you may be able to stick at it an emulator, but yeah, like it gets tricky. Ken, you were going to say something. I'm sorry. I just oh, to I just I thought it was kind of funny. I randomly got a message from Bill Maher while we were sitting here, <laughs> just you know, asking uh, how to keep in touch and stuff. I told him we were in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure he knows about the Discord. Yep, I will do. Tell him to get his foot in the air. Yeah, all of his. I mean, he had some really great ambitions for for the code, and um, I think he's far more likely to get them in place now than he was when High Fidelity was running things. So, jeez, I just looked at my usage. I'm using seven gigabytes of RAM on this thing, just on the interface. Yeah, it's. Ah, uh... oh, let me check out mine. Yeah, something about that, yeah. That's about right. I wonder if it's just all the miscellaneous stuff we have in here now. 8.7 gigs resident, 20 gigs virtual. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that's actually used and not just memory leaks. Well, on my uh, well, interface itself is using, one, uh, using about 2 gigs of memory. Well, it doesn't seem to be climbing, so I'm going to guess that there's not a whole lot of leak, hopefully. I was, it's looking, a... I was looking because my world tends to flicker a little bit. It's like, why is that happening? <laughs> in VR, it's just going to uh, frame drop to a record. Well, uh, you ah, have to have in mind... When you say flicker, are you talking about like black flicker or just uh, stiffness of movement? Um, as in the whole scene suddenly <laughs> rotates 90 degrees for a frame. Oh, you are having problems with frame. Yeah, frame locks for sure, I think. Are you talking um, about, okay, are you having talking about using the Quest, uh, through, um, Link? Or are you talking about using one of the old APK Android builds? I'm talking about me using the Rift S right here, right now. <laughs> oh, the Rift S. Yeah, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I think you're having graphics issues. Um. For sure. But no, it um, shouldn't be flickering with, or yeah. doing what it's doing. Yeah, that's unusual. I haven't had that for a while, so. Mm. You want a like a um, VR laptop or using a desktop? I'm using a desktop, brand new desktop I bought. Okay, I was it thinking about power issues. It's probably not that. I then. It has a tendency of spontaneously rebooting, though, and I don't know why, but that's uh, way off topic. Well, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk sorry about, about that later if you want. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it sounds like you've got a few, few issues there for sure. Just 
does anybody know any scanning software that's super easy to use? With using Connect? Uh, oh, of using a Connect? No. Yeah. I've never been terribly impressed with the Connect's ability to do 3D scans. But then I only have like a. Yeah, I've got. So. Yeah, I've got the. It's relatively low res. Yeah, I've got the new one. So. If you want to. job just taking pictures, yeah. Just because of their high resolution cameras, yeah. True. Um, there's a lot of really great free software, just like that you can stitch that you can use on your PC, and then there's some okay software that's built right into some of the phones. Okay. All right. So I would just look up, uh, like, I don't know if you're on Google or iPhone, or sorry, uh, Android or iPhone, but on their yeah. stores, you just search for photogrammetry, uh, okay. you'll probably find some apps. Yeah, because I, I wanted um, to put some stuff into my new place, and I thought, well, I really don't want to build it, but I've got, like, certain objects that I like anyway, and I don't mind scanning them in any way. And, you know, the other thing is, I mean, the phone apps are really nice because they do a lot of the cleanup and work for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, the downside is that the quality of the final model may not be as awesome as it could be. Yeah. I mean, if it was a permanent model that I was using, I'd say, yeah, I would have a problem with it for sure. But if it's just it's a semi-permanent model, then I'm not that bothered about it. I mean, uh, and the reason why I say this is um, if you, if you like, if you're using a phone app, which is awesome. Um, yeah. And you want to graduate up to something higher quality, I would highly recommend Meshroom. Okay. Um, that's open source and free. It does a fan. It, it's it's definitely you, there's definitely a learning curve to it because you're actually dealing with point clouds and such. Um, right. Which phone right. apps take care of for you. Yeah. But it's a very it's very step by step, and it can generate very high quality uh, photo scans. Oh. Certainly, that will be top of my uh, list of things to do. AFK, just a minute, guys. Yeah. And who's drinking that drink? What well, keeps going up and down, eh? Who, who keeps drinking that drink? Me. Yeah, me. <laughs> I have to find some place to put my hands where I don't accidentally hit the web pages. Oh yeah, we we could put that's actually, Marcus, put that down as a petty thing for to get fixed. You know that that's that's the thing that needs resolving, and it could be easy to resolve by just you you have to be nearby to it or something instead. Um, um, well, that's, yeah, yeah. Um, but I just, I'm just, I know this is not in this meeting, but that, 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 well, actually, I'm a little bit unclear on exactly what's happening. So um, basically I mean, what, what's happening is once you put your hands close to the web, um, uh, web browser, it, it pulls out the lasers straight away and it doesn't, you, in the past, what you used to have to do is pull the trigger slightly. And then right. it would do the laser. And it doesn't do that uh, anymore? It doesn't. It just does it automatically now. Don't uh, ask me why it's... they did it. Don't ask me why they did it. They just did it. They, they, they and I see tooltips coming up. Yeah. Oh, this is on, this yeah. is on any web entity? We're not talking just Yeah, the any web entity it will do it on. Yeah, yeah. So Hi. My, my advice Hello. is pull the trigger thingy and it'd probably be better. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I'll make an yeah. issue for that. Hi, yeah. darling. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, darling, do you have a, your um your go to stuff? Is that on GitHub or anything anywhere? Oh, yes, it is. Awesome. Yeah, she's got GitHub for me. If you could send me a link on Discord, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, darling, yeah. would you be alright if we put the services for it on a different server? Uh, no problem. Okay. Just just in case we ever need to in the future. Well, that's why I put it on GitHub. So anybody can run it. And that can be open. And yep. useful to everybody. Yeah, because I'm on my own settings and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to give it to you... Thank you. 
No problem. So I'm guessing at this point, <laughs> the meeting is kind of, uh, I think he said all we want to say meeting wise. So if we just want to go into like informal discussion at this point, <coughs> that's good with me. Well, I've got nothing in the to say. Sounds anything. good to me. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone. Thank you. <coughs> Guys, who's ever watching on the stream, don't forget to, to follow on the Discord and stuff. So it's important. For a moment, yeah. I thought you were going to say, don't forget to vote. I've been watching way too many reality television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, I think Ken is AFK. He might be out having a smoke or something. Yeah, so we want to make sure we let is. him know when he gets back that yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go, I'm going to get him set up with the channel properly as well. So. It, it will be moving to official, more official channels. So, um, but we will get that sorted out and announce it properly. So, uh, I don't know if this is a community meeting stuff, but I'm still a little wondering about the place names. Um, is there any way that we can query the the HiFi Metaverse server and get all those place names so that maybe copy them into a JSON? At least all the ones that we know about. Um, we could. Um, I don't know if we want to. Um, I don't think we need to really at this point. I think well, that's, I mean, that's, that, that's more user volition if they choose to be host. You know, if they choose to have their place hosted on our API, yeah, that's kind exactly. of up to them. Yeah. I'm just wanting we to just like preserve what's there. <laughs> See, the, the, yeah, but it's sort of, yeah. we're sort of talking about an opt out option, which is a yeah, policy yeah. I don't know that we want to venture into. No, we'd um, stop being in there with them anyway. But um, yeah, I mean, you can. I mean, the one of the reasons why Darling's got her script is basically you can make your own like private go to and you can share them lists um publicly or whatever you want to do it um it's it's not a perfect answer really now but it's one of the answers that 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 darling came up with for her own use you know so um they were quite happy to use that for the time being so um it's fine you know it's great You back? Huh? Okay. No can I say anything? Well guys, I'm gonna go AFK for about twenty minutes, so while I go out and yeah. battle the elements. <laughs> um, a bit. Talking about your computer stuff, what are you running? Who are you talking to? Yeah, you, 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 yeah. What are you running on your computer stuff? Because you said you were struggling with issues and stuff. What are you running at the moment? Uh, <laughs> what kind of answer are you looking for? Uh, well, I don't know. What did you buy? AMD, Intel, graphics wise, that kind of thing. Just oh, jeez. Um, are, are, are you blue or red? Are you blue or red? Jeez. Let's <laughs> see here. I'm looking for device manager. Yeah. Did you just buy it from? I don't really know how to answer your question. Uh, my display adapter is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Okay, all right, that's that's okay. Um, d when you did you say you got the computer recently? Yeah, in the last month you, or two. All right, did you get it? Um, did you get it from Best Buy or something like that, or? Intel. No, I got it from like three different stores. All right, okay. 
Right. It's Amazon, Newegg, and uh, one. Actually, I did get some stuff at Best Buy. Oh, you put it together yourself, did you? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's the only way to get the stuff that you want. That's true. That's true. And what what in did you what process do you have on it? Do you know? Does it say? Uh, let me see what the device manager says. Um, whoa. Okay. Um, you ram, you ram and the process of this one. Yeah. Processor AMD Ryzen five thirty six hundred. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at. Low, but you know, it's it's good. Nothing I'm looking at Process Explorer and interfaces using about thirty percent. Yeah. Uh, GPU is eighty percent though. Yeah, right. One thing you should check, um, because don't don't um AMD have some graphics in in built in. Make sure um, you're using that. You know. I don't think mine does. Uh, yeah. if if there is a graphics built in, then. I yeah. would have gotten a second HDMI port, and I didn't. Yeah, just make sure that's not using. I mean, I'm using an Oculus S that needs to plug into a Display Port. I don't think that Display yeah. Port. Yeah, well, no, they can pass it through. Believe it or not, apparently they can okay. do it. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't don't know, think my I didn't mother... know they could do that, but for, apparently they can. But, my main board yeah. did not come with an HDMI socket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that doesn't mean that the it doesn't have graphics on it, but. But yeah, I get your point. Um, yeah, it's a bit odd. The only thing I could say is, if it continues the way it has with you, um, after you've reset, um, the interface, um, is is maybe just make sure you've done a clean installation of the drivers, because sometimes if you do Windows, when you install Windows, it downloads the drivers for you. And it installs I've got through. something yeah. that keeps yeah. updating drivers, some sort of NVIDIA software that keeps yeah. popping up stuff to upgrade yeah. drivers every two so, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that will happen anyway. But um, one thing you can do is go to NVIDIA's website and download their regular drivers with the, the, the graphics card you know it is. Yeah, I and, did and, that. And I, then, I don't trust Windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just and do this, do this for once. Um, all you need to do is literally download the latest versions, do the installation again, and say you want to do advanced installation and you do clean install. And oh, that should okay. solve any big issues you have with drivers with Windows particularly. You know, that helps. every so, time it does a normal install, it uninstalls yeah. some stuff that I have to reinstall. So Yeah, well, it, uh, should, be, it should be the one-off anyway. Um, you don't have to install the um, video experience, by the way. Um, you don't have okay. to install that if you don't want to. I think just I've been wanting to play around with 3D, and it keeps uninstalling the 3D stuff every time the drivers update. Really? Okay. Yeah. So what sort of 3D stuff, 3D stuff are you messing around with? Um, NVIDIA 3D drivers. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Um... What did, what uses that? I've been trying to convert some of my programs over a three D vision. That's what it's called. All oh, right, three D vision. Okay. Which hmm. uh, apparently is not part of the official installers anymore. No. Okay. Well, we'll try that and see how you get on with that. And... But I mean, and it's it's not it... horrible right now. It just flickers maybe yeah, every thirty I, seconds. Yeah, I think it's it's more like your drivers haven't been installed correctly, probably. Just you know. okay. It's it's worth trying that anyway, maybe. Um, and just make sure your AMD drivers are up to date as well. You know, they're they're obvious thing to do. AMD's not particularly always been the best with drivers in general. So. Yeah, I yeah, know that when yeah. I set it up, I spent a lot of time trying to make sure all my drivers were up to yeah, date. Yeah. But the clean installation and the video drivers will probably do the trick. Probably. Because I've had a friend who she, she she got a new computer and she said, oh, it's, it's it was a ten or something, it's a nine sixty or something like that. And I said, it's a really slow playing these games. And she's, I'm going, well, what did you do? I just run the game and Windows installed the the drivers already installed on my PC. And I said, did Windows do that? And she was unsure. And I said, well. If Windows did that, you probably don't have the goodest drivers anyway. And 
Yeah, I don't know what the random reboots every few days are. Yeah. That worries me a bit. It doesn't seem to be the computer doesn't seem to be doing anything when that happens did though. You, it's... Did they give you option of updating the BIOS or not? Uh, I there was an issue with the CPU. I made sure I got a more powerful main board so that I didn't yeah. have to update the BIOS because the CPU was not fully compatible with older main boards without a BIOS update. Yeah. And that, so I did not update the BIOS. So, but it wouldn't, is it really old one? Uh, what, what? Is it a really old chipset? I don't think it's old chipset, is it? No, I, so you yeah. Should be, you should, you should have a problem updating the BIOS now, you know? I can check to see if there's been a BIOS update. Yeah, I mean, that might be worth trying. I'm just resetting the settings once you do that and just set them where you, where you want them. There's so much stuff in there about overclocking. It's, I know, geez. just ignore the overclocking bit. Just well, I installed overclocking software just so that I can, because it tells you how your system's doing. Yeah, yeah. I don't bother with any of that overclocking stuff in general. I just let it do its own man, you know, it's just normal boosting and stuff. I wonder if I can run any of that software right now. Yeah. Uh, let's try running that. Chuck up. Okay. My view just cut out. Chuka chuka. Hello. And George, you there? Yes. Uh, where could we chat? We have yeah. a, like a little private chat. Where, where do we yes, find the chat? Anytime. Anytime? You gonna be around? Yeah. Tomorrow? Uh, yeah. If I give you, a, yeah, all right. I'll have a look around for you tomorrow, and we can have a little okay. chat and stuff. I, I've got okay. some ideas, but maybe uh, I. I that we can pull off. You're you're the guy to do that usually. So <laughs> okay, at least have that conversation at least anyway. We seem to be about the two o'clock mark. Should I kill the meeting recording? Yeah, <laughs> Are we, we done with we the notes and stuff? We, fin we finished the meeting ages ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry, I wandered off. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and end the stream here. Out. Yeah. Welcome back. Nice avatar. Cool. Yeah. Okay, my GPU temperature is 83 degrees. And you're breaking up as well on your audio. No, it's that like... doesn't sound like breaking up. That sounds like something else is wrong. <laughs> sounds like Doom Robot or something. <laughs> 